Hello, 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 everyone. Full moon in Libra. Oh my gosh. And this uh, energy should be quite balancing. Um, so yes, I'm feeling like the uh, energies are coming back into balance for you in some way. So on some level of your life, there's going to be something kind of returning in this full moon energy that's going to help you kind of balance out where you've been and where you want to go. So for many of you, this is going to be where something is either coming or going. Um, and so in either instance, it could feel very unstable. Um, so it's going to be really important to get, you know, very grounded and centered in this energy. So we have a card at number one, card number two, and card number three. And these are going to be um, informing the piles, right? So we have one, two, and three. All right. I'm going to set them down. All right. So it's going to be really important that you choose the pile um, either from the poster or from what I just held up. The one that calls you or the one that resonates with you. Maybe not normally the, your favorite number or um, what you maybe normally go to. I really feel like let it resonate in your soul. And if you have to kind of rewind and watch um, those three cards being held up, do that. If not, you can always go to the poster and kind of look at that and see what, what one was calling me, which one was my eye being pulled to, or what was the number that I was hearing in my, in my mind's eye. All right. All right. So with that being said, I'm just going to grab a piece of paper. I had a little pad here that was kind of in my way. And of course, now I can't find it um, so that I can write. It's all right. It's all good. Pile number one. Are you ready? Yeah, I like that. The masculine. Get yourself into balancing your masculine energies. Your masculine energy is coming out to balance you. So this is where you're going to get into the energies of being very um, intentional, um, very organized, very um, controlled. Divine masculine aspects or um, keywords that are related to the divine masculine, okay? So this is where you need some balance or you need some divine masculine, all right? Some risk taking. Oh my gosh, maybe some of you really do need to take a leap, leap of faith, right? Oh, that won't. There we go. Assertiveness. Yes. Speaking your truth. Asking for what you want. Kind of demanding it. I mean, being assertive is, you know, really getting your point across. Being assertive. Always from your heart. Always drop down and do that from your heart. But yes, getting, um, becoming assertive in your divine masculine. Action oriented. It's time to take action. So that's going to help balance you this month or this uh, full moon cycle. Yeah, um, action oriented. Yeah, d d doing it, getting out there and doing it. Whatever it is you've been wanting to do, this is this is it, time to do it. Being disciplined, yes, being disciplined. You know, um, maybe setting an alarm clock, maybe um, saying no because at a certain time every day you're gonna start doing something, like where you need discipline. Maybe you're gonna be making sure that you, you know, stay on top of your finances. Uh, maybe you're gonna stay on top of your men your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health. Um, by setting boundaries, yes. Divine Masculine absolutely get, helps you um, set your boundaries uh, wherever you need to. Having confidence. Having confidence. It's okay to have confidence. All right. Getting into divine masculine uh, energy with confidence. Objectivity. Objectivity. You know, making sure you're objective. You know, if you're not being objective, where are you letting the heart, right? Um, that divine feminine man, she wants to creep in. She wants you to um, be nurturing and to be helpful and to be beneficial. And of course you do, but you also have to be objective. Am I getting what I need? Is this going in the right direction? Um, and having logic and analysis. You know, I've done this before. What did it get me? Should I do that again? Hmm, probably not. It didn't get me what I wanted. All right. Being the warrior. Being your own warrior. Being the yang. You know, we can't always be yin. We also have to be yang and survival. You know, what do I need to do? 
um, for my survival. So those are the, the, the some of the characteristics um, to think about, um, you know, for getting into your divine masculine energy, um, helping you to balance. All right, helping you to balance. All right, let's see who, what, um, what wants to come out with this message. All right, let's see. Oh. All right, yeah, and I see why, and I see why. All right, oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, yeah, look at that. It's all about the Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings in resource, in passion, in um, finances, in safety, security, stability, foundation, right? And you're gonna be uh, being offered. Look at that, you're being offered and you're also getting a call. Something is coming in in this full moon cycle, uh, pile number one, that's helping you um, because you're getting in more your masculine energy, you're starting to um, call in the things that are going to be beneficial to you. The new beginning, new resources, new ways to be resourceful, new opportunities coming in, um, someone offering you help. Um, very, very important in these energies for you to accept that help. All right, Page of Wands. So this is um, be prepared for happy news, exciting times. Okay. Um, also, the Page of Wands may be announcing a new job opportunity or a promotion. All right. Maybe uh, heralding the impending birth of a child. Um, but expect an invitation or an opportunity. So yeah, I feel like these cards just really go together really, really well in that there's something coming in for you that's going to help you um, in balancing out, um, you know, things you've not been receiving, things have not been going your way, things you haven't had, I think justice coming in. I mean, the, this Libra, you know, um, energy, it's all about kind of creating this justice. And so I feel like you've got it coming in in spades, pile number one, with new opportunities and people offering assistance and, um, you know, news coming to you. So really, really important to not hold it off, but really get into where do I have to set some boundaries? Because, you know, people are around me that they're just wanting from me or they're maybe making promises and not coming through. And I haven't set boundaries with that. And so the only way for you to get your new beginning is to get into that assertiveness, get into your confidence, get into the yang energy in this full moon. Yeah, because it is. It's time to raise your vibrational frequency so you can start receiving. And that's what this is for you, uh, pile number one. It is. It's time to start receiving. Time to start receiving. All right. Raising your frequency is getting into compassion, getting into love, not letting the fear hold you back anymore. Not hold, letting the fear hold you back anymore. So where you're still feeling fearful, that's where you've you've got to get into that confidence, um, taking a leap of faith. Yeah. Um, someone new is entering your life in this, uh, full moon cycle number pile number one and use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're definitely, you, you know, you're getting the information you're, you're getting the call. Um, There it is. Look at that. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Um, so yes, um, this may be why that you need to be assertive and confident because you've got changes coming in. You've got people coming into your life and you know, you don't want what you've had before. So um, yeah, good fortune fell right out. Look at that pile number one. So it, the scales are balancing, you know, out of bad fortune into good fortune and whatever that looks like for you in this next full moon cycle. All right, so I'm going to leave that there, pile number one. I like those. I like those a lot. That's awesome. Have a great full moon season. All right, pile number two, change. Look at this beautiful change card. Look at that, change. She's ready to push off. She's ready to take off and go on a new adventure. And yes, it feels like it's happening in a storm, but sometimes we need a perfect storm to make the change, right? So uh, pile number two, the uh, full moon in Libra, um, balancing the scales by bringing you change. So things aren't going to stay the same. They are going to look different. Oh, there it is. There, there it starts. There it starts. So some of you could be um, definitely going through some big change, whether it's uh, divorce or um, 
Wow, pile number two. Yeah, the scales are balancing. Um, for some of you in a uh, legal matter, uh, definitely things are going to come out in your favor. Um, you know, whether it doesn't feel like it at the time of the ruling, ultimately it will be. Um, so yes, the high priest is coming in right away. So you're going to be given the keys to unlock some situation that um, you're feeling you may need um, some legal advice about. And then look at that right behind it was the justice card. Hello. So yes, um, pile number two, big, big, big energy around you coming into balance for yourself. Um, and this can be because very intuitively, spirit is bringing you everything you need. So really getting quiet and trusting and acting on what spirit is bringing you because they're bringing you the way forward. They're bringing you um, the information that's going to help you go around or circumvent a situation that really you've not been able to like end or climb over or get through. It's because you can't. You've got to go around it. You've got to go around it. Uh, and that's what's best for you. It's not what's best for everyone else. So it does feel like there's uh, situations, pile number two, in your life that um, you've been wanting to um, figure out and there's no way to figure out. You All you have to do, you've got to change it. You've got to completely go in a different direction. You've got to leave whatever doesn't work and move on. Uh, yeah. That feels like a very hard message, but it's like your gut has known it. Your, your uh, angels, guides, ascended, they've been bringing you the information that it's time to move on. It's time to go. It's time to get what you need to get, take care of what you need to take care of, but it's time to go. That's totally what I'm getting for this uh, pile, pile number two. There's no making it better. There's no figuring it out. It's just, it's time to go. And again, I don't feel like I'm really saying anything that you don't already know. It's just validation that um, your efforts aren't going to work. Your efforts aren't going to make things better. Yeah. So there it is. You're protected. Yeah. You know, do what you have to do for yourself because you are, you are being protected. Your angels are protecting you and they're helping you be protected um, physically also. Um, so yes, just listen deeply, listen deeply into your heart, into your uh, gut, uh, listen to your inner voice, your inner knowingness, see the signs, see the signs, the signs are, are yours, yes, believe the signs, uh, because strength and guidance are being given to you at this time, strength and guidance are being given to you at this time, because this is hard stuff, pile number two, this isn't easy stuff, this is big change. This is big change. Don't underestimate the power of your soul. You are a strong and resilient soul with the capacity to rise above any challenge. Divine intervention is taking place at this time. Whatever is occurring in your life is providing a real learning curve for your soul. You are becoming more and more aware of what you will lead you to fulfill your purpose and what will divert you from joy. Your angel guide is encouraging you to recognize that the feelings that are coming to you now are guidance that will help you understand the steps that you need to take and the moves that you need to make in order to be aligned with the abundance and support. Angels are encouraging you to dig deep and hold your station. If you're wondering what the next step is, know that it will be revealed in due course. Don't change your plans or your vision or your goals for anyone. This is not a time to take drastic action, but to remain committed and strong. Keep up the good work. Angels are encouraging you to recognize the power of your prayers and intentions at this time. Recognize, too, that the angels are with you and willing to guide you on your journey. The universe itself is with you. If you trust in it, it will draw down the power of the cosmos and the right steps will be revealed in such a way that it will be effortless for you to take them. Know that it's not your job or duty to know everything that's unfolding. Just take one step at a time until the solution and outcome are revealed. Have faith. Positive things are happening. So pile number two, you are protected. You are protected in this change. And it, it does feel big. Again, I was feeling, I was seeing like really, you know, thick documents, you know, maybe um, selling, selling a home, selling a business, um, getting a divorce, um, just things that are really going to be
Okay, we're not going to take all those. We're really going to be um, it, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But it's going to be beneficial. It's going to be what you need. The change is going to be what you need. All right. Let's see what wants to come out here. Too much concern with sexual matters. I almost feel like somebody needs to maybe possibly see a, a medical doctor. But yeah, don't let the physical be a reason that you stay in a bad relationship. Um, November is going to be a, 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 a transformative month for those of you. Um, so keep November in, in your mind's eye as you move forward that um, November is going to be Whatever changes are occurring now, I feel like November is is going to be when things um, either are finalized or um, you're on the new road. Yeah, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yeah, you you got to um, put yourself first. Yeah, you got to. It, it not you can't sit back. You know you can't sit back. You gotta put your effort in. Put your effort in. If you want to go in a new direction, if you want to accomplish your goals, you, you've got to put the effort in. So where maybe you're taking a little too much time or um, you're letting um, fear rule the day, um, nope, keep taking a step. Keep taking a step on that stair staircase to yourself. Keep taking a step. You are highly thought of. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Whatever changes you're making, the right people will keep thinking good thoughts about you. Anybody that doesn't think good thoughts about you or believes any negativity that's on them, that's nothing to do with you. That's that's their own stuff. I know sometimes when you're going through a character assassination, you know, someone's really telling other people really bad things about you um, for whatever reason. You know, that can be hurtful, but you just know that right people won't buy it. You're, you're okay. Pile number two. Yeah. Problems can be resolved. Nothing is unrepairable, irreparable. Yep. So just know that whatever you're facing right now, whatever scales are being balanced for you, they will be resolved. It will. It doesn't feel like it right now and it feels daunting and insurmountable, but it's not. It's not. So with that being said, I do want to get some more um, help for you. Let's do these. Let's do these. Surrender, trust the divine, release the outcome, say yes to life. Yeah. Sometimes we just have to let go of the outcome. You know, we want a certain outcome and we think only a certain outcome is going to bring us what we want. And that's so not true. So if you've not practiced surrendered pile number two, this would be a really great time in your life to really start to trust the divine release the outcome and say yes to life. You know, surrender is a practice. Surrender is, you know, keep taking the step towards your staircase, but letting go of, of, of how it's going to look or what you're going to um, receive. Because sometimes what we want and what we get are two very different things. And what we get when we don't, um, it's better. It's better than what we want because we don't know that there's better out there, right? So pile number two, things things will get better. Um, but you have to let go, go of the control. Yeah, so thank you for being here. Hi, pile number three. There it is. I'm Ger. This is all about striving and driving too hard, letting your hunger for something really drive the train. And this is always going to be like a negative thing, unfortunately, because if you're trying too hard, if you're pushing too hard, like something's going to fall, something's not going to work out well. And so really look at right now, where are you trying too hard? Where are you pushing too much? Um, you know, where are you maybe even feeding an addiction? Um, whether it's overwork or um, overeating or overindulging in anything, in any type of way, you know, where are you really putting yourself in a negative deficit by being too hungry? all the time. All right, so let's take a look and see what this Libra full moon wants to balance out for you.
things are going to be coming at you in this full moon. Things are going to feel like they're really coming at you kind of fast. So this is going to be a little bit of a fast moving energy, um, which I think that is part of what's been driving the, the hunger or the um, striving and driving energy um, because things have been moving too fast. But in this uh, balancing out, um, really important to slow down, really important to take a look at what you don't see. Look at that, what you can't see. And you're the one keeping the blindfold on because um, you're having urgency. Remember, urgency is fear energy. And so it's really, really important in these energies for you to look at where am I putting urgency? Because if I'm putting urgency around something, then I'm not seeing what I need to see. I'm keeping myself held in restriction because I can't see the full picture because I'm rushing forward too fast. I'm continuing to stay on this treadmill. It's not getting me anywhere, okay? Yeah, and you are the only one that can change this for yourself. You're the magician in your own life. So where can you sit down with yourself and say, hey, what am I, how am I self-sabotaging? How am I self-sabotaging, right? How am I self-sabotaging? Where am I getting into this fear energy and how can I change that or flip that script? Because I can have anything I want. I can manifest anything I need. But I can't do it from this place of striving and driving. I can't do it from this place of fear. I got to sit down and get out of the fear. I got to get into the gratitude. I got to get into the... The love. I got to get out of the fear. That I'm not good enough. That I'm not whatever enough. That nobody likes me. That nobody wants to work with me that I'm not talented enough, I'm not gifted enough, I'm not thin enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not whatever enough. Yeah, because you are protected. So as these changes occur this month, as you start walking away from things, taking the blindfold off, seeing things clearly, and yes, it may be a little scary because things may have gotten out of hand. You may have had the blindfold on for so long and things have been going a mile a minute for so long that when you finally looking at things, it is going to be a little scary. Things are going to be out of sorts. Things are not going to be where they need to be. Things are going to be overwhelming, but you have the protection you need to be able to come through and rise from the situation and get into forgiveness and understanding for yourself and for anybody around you that maybe it's been going too fast. You've been on this freight train that's just been flying away and you haven't been looking around and, and really looking at what is truly going on here? What am I running away from? What am I trying to shield from myself? What am I trying to protect myself from? And what am I using to do that? Is it food? Is it drugs? Is it sex? Is it distraction? Is it social media? Whatever it is, you're the only one that can get yourself out of this by stepping back. And getting into balance. And that's what, and to be honest with you, I, I you know, I feel like you're going to get a little bit of, of forced stepping back. So something may fall apart or uh, come to a head in this full moon energy where you have to really know that you're protected and really know that everything's going to be okay. But only through your own magic, only through your own willing to see things for what it is. Um, yeah, because your wish will not be granted in this energy. It can't be granted in this energy, not in the energy that you're, the fear energy that you're in. There's no way it can be granted. So if you've got a wish that you really, really want it to be granted, then that's where you've got to get into, you know, protecting yourself, um, asking for angelic protection, but also get into the forgiveness and understanding of why things got out of control. Because you're letting people get away with stuff. Someone is uh, insincere and undependable. Yeah, you've been letting someone get away with stuff for too long, um, whatever it is. Yeah, you're coming into a period of prosperity and abundance, but you've got to you've got to say no. You got to set your boundaries up. Pile number three, you've got to set your boundaries up. That's the only way that you're going to start receiving what you want. So this freight train has been running for a minute, out of control. And this Libra full moon is going to bring it back into balance. 
but it is going to show you some things you may not want to see or have been not wanting to see, but you have the magic in you to be able to absolutely transform this. So claim your power, cultivate willpower, take inspired action. You've got this. Yep. You have everything you need inside of you. You truly do. Number three, pile number three, but you've got to claim your power. You got to stand in your power. You got to take your power back from whatever vice, from whatever, whatever's out of control. You can, you absolutely can. You are the magician. You can manifest anything you need, but you've got to get into the vibrational frequency of love and compassion, forgiveness and understanding. And where you've not been looking at things, where you've been letting things just rock it out of control, it's time to take it back. Time to take it back. So thank you for being here. All right, guys, those are your messages. Have a beautiful rest of your full moon.